Okay, so let's make sure everything is on point here, guys. You just go ahead and just pour me some water real quick. And we're going to go ahead and get this show rocking and rolling in a few moments here. This is going to be pretty exciting, too, because I was thinking about this particular topic. And I said, you know what? I really want to do it right. right? I just don't want to just, although I can, you know, just have... You know, regular conversation with you, and which, by the way, we're going to be doing anyway. But I wanted to detail this a little bit more, so I took my time in preparing this um conversation I'm going to have with you all, and I believe as far as this is going to be very informative. So do me a favor. As of right now, as you're catching on, I want you to go ahead and invite some folks. I want you to go ahead and tag at least three people into this podcast right now because what we're going to be diving into is something that i believe everyone would want to hear and it's especially fitting as of right now so i just want to say first and foremost before we get rock and rolling here welcome ladies and gentlemen to transformation greatness along with the small business network podcast and this is episode, I believe, 95 or 96. I can't remember which one. I do apologize for that. But the message is still going to be powerful. And as you see in the description, it's going to be limited beliefs versus empowering beliefs. And boy, I tell you, this is going to be very fitting and relevant to everything which is going on right now. So do me a favor, if you will. If you catch us on the live, put it in the hashtag live. Hey, guys, let me know where you're tuning in from. I love conversation. I love dialogue. You know, the more that you comment, the better it is. Plus, also allows for Facebook to show it to as many people that can benefit from this as possible. And if you should be having to catch this on the replay because you're out and about, maybe you have a commitment, totally fine, all good. But guess what? You're including this as well. Put it in the hashtag replay. And let me know where you're tuning in from and if you're getting any value from this. So, first and foremost, who am I and why should you even pay any mind? Listen to me. Great question. I will ask the same thing. So, my name is Sean White, once again. I'm the founder and creator of a brand which is called Transformation Greatness, which is all about motivating, encouraging, and inspiring the masses. And in my 11 years of being an entrepreneur, I have been able to acquire the skills as being a speaker, a coach, a hypnotherapist. In addition, as well as being an author, I'm a partner and CEO of the Small Business Network, along with my business partner, Dr. James McConnell, and we're just providing an amazing services as far as for those that would love to get into entertainment with TV and radio and everything else. So that's just a brief introduction of who I am, but let's go ahead and jump into this. Before I do, I want to say hello to Dr. James What's going on, my friend? And we have here Brother Mark Rodriguez in the house. Welcome, welcome, my friend. And we also have here Miss Lakeisha Lucas Ramirez and Light and Legacy in the building. Welcome, welcome. First and foremost, guys, I'm sorry. Secondly, can everybody hear me okay? I just want to make sure that my volume is good, that everybody can hear me clearly, that I'm coming across clearly as well. Please, if you just let me know in the comments if I'm coming across good. Just want to make sure that, that my audio is on point. Please let me know. Okay. Then I will have to assume in then. Every, okay. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. I do appreciate that. So I want to go ahead and open this up here. And I want to ask you all a question. When it comes down to limited beliefs versus empowering beliefs, what would you like to say at this current time? If you can be completely honest, you don't have to put it in the comment section. You, it's something you can ask yourself internally. Which side are you mostly on at this current time? And the reason why I say that, and most of you guys already know what I'm about to say, but we all know that thoughts become things. We also understand too that whatever we adopt and we pay the most attention to, it's pretty much going to be our particular belief in that aspect, whether right or wrong. And the reason why that's the case is because it's built up from many different factors. It can stem either from our childhood. It can stem as far as from previous experiences, um, past experiences from our family members, friends, our environment, 
TV, social media, the newspapers, all these different things factor as far as into our, the type of beliefs that we're all going to adopt. And obviously, all you guys are you know, very aware of that. I'm not telling you anything differently. But what I am saying is this, is a lot of us, and it took me a long time too, so hey, I'm guilty, guys. It took me a long time to really understand beliefs and how it can truly shape us. And it's kind of funny because when I was putting this together, I remember when I was in sales and I was working for Expedia Cruises. This is when I was in Miami. And I remember that I was selling cruise packages and I was just a rep. And by the way, I was doing very, very good at that. And I was very comfortable with that. And I remember when I had a conversation because they were actually looking for who to promote for the next um, shift supervisor, right? Because they have a supervisor, he, uh, she was actually transferring. I believe she was leaving out of the country. And so they were all wondering as far as who would be the next one. Well, it was me and three other individuals that they really wanted to go ahead and nominate as being, you know, the floor supervisor. And which, by the way, that comes with many different perks. But at that point, I adopt a belief, right, such as that, well, I'm doing very well, you know, I'm making real good money. And hey, I'm just comfortable where I'm at, right? That was the belief in which that I adopted myself. But in reality, if I really think about it, it was more of this belief. And this was a limited belief that I wasn't worthy of. Internally, I just didn't felt that I was worth it. Because prior up to that point, my life, how the way it was, it was so much of me growing up, pretty much of having to prove myself, right? More so of, of fighting against the odds. And it was at that point when I got to that level where I just felt so comfortable, right? And I was like, eh, nah, that's fine. I'm totally good where I'm at. But in actuality, I didn't feel that I was worthy enough. I wonder how many people can actually relate to that when you see opportunities such as that or opportunities that's presented to you and yet subconsciously that limited belief kicks in that mm, I'm not worthy enough, you know, I'm not smart enough, you know, I don't have all the correct tools. You may not say that consciously, right? You may not say that consciously. That may not come out of your mouth, but it comes through your actions. How many of you all can relate to someone that you may know that is like that? Two hands up, right? Am I the, the only one? Wow, you guys is actually leaving me hanging out here? Oh, okay, well... Well then, yeah, I know plenty of people and I even know that because I was myself at that point. Here's the, the thing about limited beliefs, just like with any of us type of beliefs. And this is why at times it can be very dangerous to argue with someone that holds on to that limited belief because they use that as a safe haven. They use that as a safety mechanism because they believe as far as if that let if they let that go, then it's no longer a part of their identity. They feel that in certain ways, just like how in that example that I gave you, somehow, some way, if I would have been a floor manager, then I wouldn't have felt that I was worthy enough to lead the team. I wouldn't have felt that I was good enough to really you know, um, own up as far as to the responsibilities and hold my end of bargain in terms of the salary. And thus in turn, I would find some way to self-sabotage. And you see, that's what limited beliefs does because when you truly adopt that and you own that, right? And we all know this, what happens somehow, some way, self-sabotage comes in, into play. So now let's go ahead and talk about now the good stuff, right? Let's talk about 
empowered beliefs because no one really wants to talk about limited beliefs, right? Everybody wants to talk about their empowerment beliefs. And you guys see this as far as on social media. And every single time you ask a person, you hear all this. Well, Walter, thank you so much for hopping on. I definitely do appreciate that. You hear this from people all the time, right? You're like, yeah, I'm amazing. Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, I can do all these different things. We all know a lot of people like that. So let's talk about now empowering beliefs. Now, obviously, we know as far as what empowering beliefs. It's, to, it's the total opposite of a limited belief. If the limited belief is basically a notion or an idea that we feel that we're not good enough or in a negative light, an empowering belief, ladies and gentlemen, is a statement a series of ideas that we gravitate to on a continuous basis that are positive. Give you an example of that. I can do this. I am worth it. Every single time I speak to someone, I add value. Interesting too, as I was creating this too, and I was just thinking about a time where it was very unique, but I got something even better. I got a better story for you in terms of empowering belief. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. She's actually here in attendance. Chrissy Reddy, due to an empowering belief for the fact that she is worth it, that she told herself that she has what it takes. She has built the courage and the mental fortitude to create a dream course, a dream course in coaching. Now, I know some people may be listening to this and be like, yeah, okay, Sean, here we go. Everybody and their granddaddy got a coaching course, right? Everybody's an expert in this, right? But I think you guys are missing the point. Because of the fact that she believed that based upon her skill set, based upon everything in which that she learned and is learning, to be able to have that courage and say, you know what, I'm going to put my experiences, I'm going to put everything that I've learned into a course to where I can be able to walk someone step by step. And if they're willing to do the work, they can be able to get whatever results and what's that they're looking for. That is a form of empowering beliefs because with empowering beliefs, what it does, it gives you that mojo, gives you that inspiration, it gives you that motivation to say, you know what? Yeah, I know I got 10 people that I'm gonna call and guess what? Out of those 10 people, no matter what happens, I'm gonna bring value. Or yes, when I do a Facebook Live, I will inspire someone. Yes, when someone sees my content, they're gonna to want to get to know me and I'm gonna to wanna to get to know them. Empowering beliefs. And the great thing about that, just like with limited belief, you get to keep it. You get to own it. Why? Because it's yours. And no one can take that away from you. So before I go ahead and close this out, because I believe I made my point. I didn't want this to be long, by the way. With that being said, since we broke down limited beliefs and empowering beliefs, I ask you on this Tuesday evening, as we're just getting hot, summer sizzle. Mm -hmm. Summer sizzle. Which side are you on? Limited belief or empowering belief? The great news is this, it doesn't matter what side that you're on. If you are on the limited side and you're looking to learn on how can I shift that into empowering beliefs. If you're on the side of empowering beliefs, but you're looking to go and grow to another level, I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one confrontation with you. Let's see as far as on what it looks like. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be two or three or four hours. 
No, 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 no. Half an hour, 45 minutes. And you'll be surprised within that time frame on what it can do for you. It can do amazing things. So with that being said, guys, this concludes this episode. And also, one last point. I almost forgot. One last point. I almost forgot. With the Pain and Pleasure series in which that we have launched, along with Angels and Demons, we are collecting stories from individuals in which you want to talk about limited belief and empowering beliefs. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. Mm, we are collecting these stories. We are creating these news articles. And I'm telling you, this is going to be something else and powerful. If you want to be a part of this, if you're like, hey, you know what? Hey, look, I got something in terms of pain and pleasure. I would love to talk about my job or my profession or my life. Or, yeah, I do have, like, some guardian angels. I had some great things that happened in my life that's considered, like, very spiritual, very angelic or, mm hmm yeah. I know some people, I've been in some situations where, quite frankly, it was just toxic, it was just ugly, and yeah, I can call them demons. If that's you, and you would love to have a conversation and talk about it, you can contact either with myself, or if for whatever reason you, you don't resonate with me, you can get in contact with Dr. James, uh, which is here in the audience, he with Chrissy Redding, also with Roosevelt Russell, or any one of our amazing partners, and we'll be more than happy to go ahead and set that up and see as far as what that looks like. And by the way, it doesn't cost you a cent. That's right. F-R-E-E. -E. Again, F-R-E-E. -E. I had to say it twice. So until then, if what I stated on here even motivated, transformed, or inspired at least one person, at least one person, well, you guys know the rest. Until then, it's been an absolute pleasure. And until the next episode, peace and love, family. Thank you for your time. Have a good night.